Well, guys, this is what we're doing now. Uh, yeah, this is okay. real life. Right. Everyone boot up Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're live. Welcome to Sponsored by Nobody. This week, sponsored by Gardens. They really grow on you. It is yes. May 2022, and you're listening to Leaves in the Jungle, Season 2, Episode 22. Lots of twos today. Uh, and it's a Tuesday. Uh, in this game, we will be using the Wild Sea World setting and system. I am Ian the Firefly, and we have... ZT Yaku the Chelicre, played by Austin. <laughs> Bev playing Rick the Ardent. Dylan playing Jason the Gal. And I'm Belt playing Jonathan. No, I'm, I'm Jonathan. I'm, I'm playing Belt, the slug guy. Whoa! <laughs> Excellent. Um, what happened last session? Because our last session with these characters and the last session that listeners listened to are different but they overlap timeline wise. So what happened last session? We did some shenanigans in the ice. Yeah, that works. The kids uh, rioted. (laughs) Yeah. The kids started a riot because we were going to get, we were going to get robbed. So they they saved our bacon without us knowing about it. That's what happened. Yeah. And also uh, risked life and limb in a way that they are probably not going to forget anytime soon. And they learned the meaning of democracy, if I remember correctly. It's the canon, right? I think so. (laughs) I definitely think it's the canon. (laughs) It also has to do with how many hands you have or something like that. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And how tall you you are. are. Yeah. 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 Anywho. They learned, they learned powerful lessons. You, you just go listen to it if you haven't already, which why are you listening to this episode without listening to the last episode? Come on, get your head in the game. Um, we, can't, we can't do all the work for you. Shame. Uh, <laughs> shame. <laughs> okay, now that we're done uh, toxically chasing away our one remaining listener. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good to see them gone. <laughs> That's Obviously what they get. It's ours. No, <laughs> I'm probably a voice in the void. Now that we don't have no listeners, there's no point in censoring us. <laughs> now I can say what I really have been holding back. Spiders are skinny. What? <laughs> Nothing. What? <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> um. Wiener. <laughs> Torch, so. Torchlight 2 is inferior to Diablo 2. <gasps> yeah, that listener Ooh. just came back and was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, actually? <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, listen here, you piece of crap. <laughs> we can only get so many strongly worded You threw worded thin and thinner <laughs> to hear this. <laughs> so, I may, I may not be a Patreon. Patreon member, which, by the way, listeners, we have a Patreon. We do. Anyways. Wait, we're sponsored? <laughs> My whole world. Uh, so, <laughs> anywho, the on the Wild Sea, what is the soap situation like? That's our, that's our question for the day. Like cleaning what? product or opera? Either. You never know if they will or they won't. And sometimes someone comes back and you're like, didn't they die? <laughs> okay okay i like to think that there's like a, a serialized radio broadcast you know like the oldie days like how they did with superman <laughs> but it's like there, there's a soap opera channel and i don't know why but i'm assuming fungi is a pun in the title somewhere oh yes yeah yeah but also, like, as per regular soap, um, I want to say that it is a staple of the Ectus economy. Ooh. Yeah. Like, like it's like it's something that, that they are particularly known for, is their, their skills with soap. That works perfectly, because I was going to be like, you know those soap plants? There's, like, these weird, like, <laughs> like kind of rough-looking plant like pine cone looking things and you can like squeeze them and this the soap substance comes out 
They, they exist Austin, right now. Austin? I'm making them up. Austin, you can't. This is a setting where plants are people. You can't just say that you go into a bath with someone and squeeze them till things come out. Whoa, and that's how you whoa, get clean. whoa. You can't say whoa. that, Austin. We're Why would you say that? Okay, <laughs> I, 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 I need our one listener to earmuff for a second here. <laughs> Consider what if that is how you get soap and the plants are okay with it? I Maybe mean, not, no. It. It's a sacrifice they're willing to make. It's a victimless hobby, and think of how like, good the plant must feel. Like, imagine that shower scene, where it's like someone gets in the shower, and you're watching it on, on TV, and you're like, alright, here's the shower scene. And then they're, you're just like, what is happening? <laughs> Why? Who who agreed to produce this? It gives face wash a whole new meaning. <laughs> right? <Wow. laughs> oh my god. I can't so even are we talking about the cleaning product or the soap opera still? Because I'm yes. not sure. <laughs> It's, it's actually the two have to do with each other, and that's why it's called a soap opera. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I'm so glad you guys are making these jokes. Let me just uh, <laughs> let me just send you the link and to let you show what these guys. Oh no! Look oh like. no! Oh no! You just, yes, you're just I so already know. On. Well, I guess he already knows. I already know. What does he already know? What do you already, already know? know? It's the shampoo plant, man. It's uh. It's going to be really bad after this conversation. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh. All right, you're taking too long, so I'm just going to Google shampoo. I'm glad the plants oh, like it. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Wait, what is... Oh, what is, it's real. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my Google gosh. shampoo plant. That is, that is not what... That's not oh what plants gosh. do. Oh, no. <laughs> No, okay. We're it's shampoo season. Oh We're my done gosh. here. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't even see that. Okay, <laughs> listeners, make sure you Google shampoo plant. Uh, it's, you can't it unsee it. It is safe for work, but it is. But is it? Is it? Looks like it shouldn't be. It's it's the most safe for work. With any it's, amount of editing, it would not, not be safe for work. It's nothing but clean. Uh, good night, everybody. This is thank has been you for having by me. Nobody. This is wonderful. So, uh, Here's a thousand spiders tip tapping out the door. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just, I'm just. We're gonna start the episode before this. I don't know if it can get worse, but we're not gonna go that far. Because, uh, oh boy, that was well done, team. I'm proud. Okay, of us. but I am Here. gonna send that video to to my husband just to, just to see how he was. <laughs> Please one record last... his face. <laughs> one last little tangent, though. I'm picturing a, I'm picturing a cello cray comedian who's just bombing on stage, getting smaller and smaller as the spiders are just trailing off the stage behind him until the the body just kind of just stick. It's like or like like the case, I guess. It just gets kind of dragged the off. One by the last one dedicated spider who really wanted this to happen. <laughs> yeah, the, hook, the hook coming out is just the the group of spiders grabbing what's left of their skin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I can see oh, my I like husband. That. He's playing Overwatch, but I'll let you know if he suddenly switches to Discord. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. You um, must know I messaged him though. So, yeah, you guys. Uh, I heard him giggle. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys left the ice uh, reach and are now headed towards Rook's homeland. As Rook, you, you have found two out of the three things you need to turn your ship into a mech of sorts. Uh, you found an ancient engine, and you found a working translated DVD box set of Transformers. <coughs> which, after these two things, you 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 know sat there for a while contemplating, how am I going to turn this into a mech? And then you watched the entirety of Transformers, the animated series, and you said, you know how they work? It's just all hinges. It's all hinges. Just a bajillion hinges. There's so, so many hinges. Yeah. That's, and an that's, all spark, but that's bull, and I can make that with bees. Well, you got the <laughs> engine. That's the ancient engine. That's Perfect. You, you're good. You're good. You just need hinges and an ancient engine. Um, and so you've thought to yourself, Rook... You're going, hmm, where has good quality 
and ab- an abundance of hinges. And it dawns on you that unfortunately you must return home. For home has an abundance of hinges and they are good quality. Uh, so I assume you frequently send letters to your parents. If you do not, they frequently send letters to you. So feel bad if you do not. Oh, was um, I supposed to be I, I, I'm definitely those? aware that now that there's a ghost post <laughs> on the ship, I have like no excuse not to. I think I was, every once yeah. in a while I send like one of the I feel guilty, yes, I'm still alive message. <laughs> okay. Mm. I was wondering if you were going to follow that with, I have no reason not to, but I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I may have thrown not, out a few not, of them when I'm she not, was angry. I wasn't going in the I'm not a there. bad kid. You know when like your mom has been texting you all day and you're like, I need to respond or she's just going to be texting me. You mm-hmm. know? So you send like the, yep, got it, text. Yeah. Like Your first mistake was introducing the ghost post to her. <laughs> she literally couldn't have found us with that if you didn't introduce her to the ghost post. <laughs> hey, listener, listen, if you're trying to contact your kid and they're not responding and their last thing that they said to you is, hey, I can't talk right now, don't call their friend and ask them where they are. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> also, what? listener, if your parents keep message, just, just let them know you're alive. That's all they want. They just want to know you're alive. Just, just send off just a quick message, like, "Yep, alive." Has anybody With seen Shoresby? Which one? The it's the Letter Kenny spinoff. Anywho, in that they a bunch of them fly into town, and they go meet up with a buddy, and their buddy's like, "Have you called your mom yet?" And they're like, no. And he's like, oh, it must be nice flying all around and not calling your mom. Wow. Who? Imagine that. Ca- not You know, taking an airplane and then not calling your mom to let her know you landed safely. Must be nice. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's true. You always call your parents after you fly. That's just right? standard My protocol. Dis- I promise I you that my parents will know that I am dead because I will join the chorus of ghosts. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I remember I'm when, I, when I watched <laughs> Taken for the first time and he's like call when you land and she doesn't and I'm like oh honey no that was your big mistake yeah mm-hmm. yeah that was when Liam yep. Neeson tells you to call back yeah you always let them know you arrived safely in Europe exactly anywho talking about arriving safely you emerge into the reach which is your home reach um, Meyer free. Am I? What? We're, we're Meyer free because it was such a pleasant journey. I mean, it, it was a pretty pleasant journey. Right. <laughs> Do we want to say that we dropped oh, anchor yeah, for a yeah, yeah, no, You guys, I'm so honestly, hurting. like the truth is, the truth is, you guys can full heal, but we only have this in one extra one episode before season three, and we'll do a full heal and character rework before season three, so it kind of doesn't matter too much. But, um, yeah, you guys can say you're full healed if you want to be full healed for this. I would love to be full healed. Um, yeah, you can say... I've been stumbling across the deck and falling downstairs (laughs) and looking over my thousand shoulders. The whole the whole boat ride. Rook hasn't hugged me in weeks. (laughs) (laughs) I've honestly not been able to. Um, yeah, no, uh, Andy's been working overtime and he's got you guys all healed up and you're looking good. We're all shiny but, and new. Yeah, you arrive at Rook's home reach. So Rook is uh, Shankling, which means she grew up on the tops of giant tall shanks. Now, all of you have seen giant tall shanks in the past in some area or another. I, I think we've even passed one or two in our game. <clears throat> I technically now, grew up in one. Exactly. Now, tall shanks, you know, they tower maybe somewhere between 30 and 100 feet above kind of regular quote-unquote sea level. And you might have 1 to 10 kind of in a cluster and then some houses and bridges and you have a small town or a community kind of in the tall shanks there. That's your average tall shank. You guys pull up to what looks like a wall in the wild sea, like a wooden wall. These tall shanks are so tall, you can't see the tops of them. And they're so wide, they span 
almost to the horizon in a you know tight knit clump. Um, and as you reach this wall of just solid wood, uh, as the tall shank sticks out of the sea, there's a large docking like mechanism, and a group of ships can be seen being hoisted up and down almost like a elevator going up to the trees above and there's you know customs and clearance and all these different things you have to go through to get there uh they people board your ship crawl all over it checking things spraying things uh disinfecting they talk they talk i hand everybody the forms (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Oh, There's you, shit. You know, oh. when, when you're coming back from an international flight and here's the little box checks forms, I hand oh, them the forms yeah. and I give them this look that says, guys, like, just, just, it's, it, I know we've got a lot on the ship we probably don't want the authorities to know about, but the bureaucracy of getting it's- caught in a lie is worse. Honestly, there's like, it's like a dozen and a half forms that you each have to fill out, including one form that says decla- declaration of illegal goods. And um, it's taken very seriously. If you do not declare your illegal goods, it's a it's a bigger crime. It's it's a crime against illegal things and illegal people and criminals. So I'm you sweating. Have, I'm I staring it down and I'm sweating I, profusely. <laughs> I don't think we have illegal things, though. Like. <laughs> We have cults. We do we, cults a we lot, have but like kid, we have slaves that we took and claimed as our children. Dad, yeah, there are our children. Take me away. <laughs> yeah, there are. Anywho, there are, those, those are our children. We literally adopted them as. Anywho, our children. actually, <laughs> when the kid the kid says that, and I suddenly hand Docus the form for legal adoption of kidnapped slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Docus fills out the form. <laughs> Anywho, yes, whether he needs more hands, it takes less time. Yeah. <laughs> you guys whether you fill out the form like you guys will fill out the forms correctly Rook will make sure it's done right (laughs) and yeah Um, as I say that you go through and by the time you get onto the elevator you have had people who have clearanced your bees people like because you have med bees on your ship as well so they've had to the med bees have made had to make sure they're up to date with their shots Andy has had to do a full physical as your doctor and then giving you all full physicals. And then their doctors gave a full physical. Uh, Your ship got disinfected six different times. It was now Um, a week later. (laughs) Yeah. no. They keep trying to get into uh, Belt's room to disinfect. And he's like, no, absolutely not. I'm not letting you in there. I hand him the form to be excluded from this process. Well, they finally like open the door as he's walking away and he's like excuse me and he comes back and then like belt sits up from his tub of crezerin as also belt <laughs> and it's like i thought i told you to get out and then they turn around and the belt that was in the hallway is gone <laughs> nice <laughs> he lays back in the bathtub and then the belt in the hallway is back right behind them and he's like i think you should close the door now <laughs> Excellent. It's only polite. <laughs> Sanity damage dealt. <laughs> yes. For oh. listeners, I'm using the ghost post civil servant aspect, which is a combination of um, scoinesis. Wait, nope, nope. You know what? I know what I did. Uh. I bought the uh, I bought the thing and got rid of it. It's the amber heart and the gelatinous. Yeah. Um, aspects. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amber Heart lets you. It usually only has one aspect or what, one box, but you can burn it to basically just make a to fall asleep and then make a dream copy of yourself that is just another you. It's pretty cool. But gelatinous uh, form has five boxes, so that is now a six box trait. So I can do that six times. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. No. It it legitimately takes like three days to pass all of the clearance and do all the paperwork and all of that shenanigans and you finally get onto the dock and like the elevator and start going up and it takes a while to go all the way up 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 you go above the cloud line and as you break through above the clouds you see 
the city sprawling out in front of you. It's shiny. It's clean. There's legitimate roadways and walk like bridges and walkways and houses and streets and you know <clears throat> fountains in the background. Music is playing. Laughter's on the air. Like it's it's meticulous here. <laughs> Uh, and Rook will navigate you to her parents' house. Um, Rook, mm-hmm. do you want to describe your parents? That is a good question. Um, I can if you want me to. I mean, yeah, go for it, because I, I haven't okay. come up with too much, um, just kind of a basic so- outline. The Rook's culture is very bird centric. Um, they bird motifs, feathers, all sorts of things are art adorns houses and walls and monuments and all sorts of stuff throughout the city. Um, Rook's parents, when you guys kind of dock and start like unloading the ship, uh, Branta and Laris will come out. They are civil waste engineers, um, civil waste management engineers, to be exact. And so they deal with all the pipes that kind of run hidden under the city, distributing water and uh, waste and all sorts of things. Um, And yeah, as you are unpacking the ship into Brooks or Brooks house, you'll they'll come out and be like, (gasps) Baruka, darling. Baruka, darling. Oh, oh, it's so nice to see you again. We're glad you we got your letter. Oh, oh, we're just so excited. Oh, oh, honey, honey, come quick, come quick. And your dad will come out and oh, hello. And they're just, they're just over the moon excited to have you. They're they're giving everyone big hugs and they're just like oh, I heard so much about you. I don't, oh, you must be so and so. Oh, yay! And they're just like very excited and hurrying you in they have tea and crackers and they're they're like got all these toys for the three kids or four kids and like they're just like oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness it's it's very like excited parents vibes meeting the friends when uh when 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 scrap sees them you know he goes up to them with with like that well-behaved expectant where are my pets and my snacks Oh, they immediately are giving him snacks and pets. He is, he's like sprawled out on the floor Giant and they're like, belly in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're rolling around. They're playing with the kids. They're playing with scraps. They're just like, they're like, they're trying to talk to you guys at the same time while playing with the kids and the dog. And it, it it's, it's Here, utter chaos. We got chaos, you all toys. Excitement. Now sit still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, your dad will sit down and he goes, ah, Baruka, darling. Well, so I, I know your, your message was saying something about hinges. What, what is it you need, dearie? I need a lot of just quality hinges. I've got a project in mind. And if you've got mm. like a lot of hinges, just, you know, well, no, no, no. The fate of our quest hinges upon it. Mm. Okay. I shoot okay. a look over. I'm like, Jesus, do not pun around my father. It will only encourage him. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'll do what I can, darling. That's you know, I, I I'll I'll start filling out the forms. It's yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And he like starts to go over to like a file cabinet, and you can see him pull out like a fistful of forms. And he's like, okay, I'll start filling out this half. And he pulls out another fistful and passes it to you. And he goes, you mm-hmm. fill out those ones. And, you know, hopefully within a month or two, we'll have our hinges. I, I crack a thousand tiny hands. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> you remember that scene in the, in the Mulan where the cricket's the typewriter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm that. Uh, excellent. <laughs> So um, you mentioned art, and I'm definitely picturing like a sign in front of the art that says "No Artists." Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's very, <laughs> there's very strict rules of like no artists allowed, and like without artists the forms. Yeah, yeah, without <laughs> the proper forms. 
So and like, like an... artists leave your brush here sort of thing and mm -hmm. like an yeah. 80s montage of him <laughs> scoping out the place and a, t and a thousand crickets doing notary republic work ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah uh, no, you guys prepare. <laughs> preparing for a heist that probably won't happen but you know but still probably preparing. doesn't mean it won't i mean yeah, yeah. yeah i do i do look at the other guys i'm like yeah months how do you feel i mean we could be comfortably here for a month that is possible i don't know that we're on a strict timeline i mean we did it that, that one reach how uh, we don't remember most of it but we got some really cool <laughs> tattoos on the way how close are we to d-day like like what day is the assigned day of war i'm like i'm checking my calendar I don't know if you guys... Did you guys give an assigned day? Or I thought we you were going to try flyers. and... That's true. You did hand out flyers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really, I, I don't know if it's a tactical maneuver to tell your enemies when you're invading them. But uh, We didn't tell our I, enemies. We told our allies through a flyer. <laughs> <laughs> that we spread around to a bunch of people. <laughs> it See, was a flawless is. plan. We are extremely disorganized, and we will miss our own deadline. So they'll be all prepped to defend against our war, and then we'll show up six months later, and they'll be like, bro, we've starved ourselves out. We spent so many resources expecting this attack. We knew it's they'd show up, and we're like, oh. <laughs> They all just ate each other, and the problem Excellent. is solved. Excellent. Hooray! I love that. We can always just and change their minds like everybody else, right? Yeah. Wait. Um... Yeah, no, you guys. <laughs> I like don't You guys will. <laughs> you guys will spend Close like family? at least Gone. three or four days in the uh, here filling out forms and doing work before you start to even more deliberate whether or not you're going to stay here a long time. Um. And yeah, this is so. Yeah, it's been about three days, and you've you've gone back and forth, filled out like a jillion forms. And uh, Belt, your, your scoping out has told you one very important thing. This reach has, like, law enforcement? Question mark? Like, it actually has people doing security and, like, checks. And, like, like it actually has people who care and are nice and, like, helping citizens out with problems. And it's it's shocking because most reaches is is not this. It's the wild west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So speaking of how this is an orderly place, I have a wish in my heart, which is not to fill out forms. So I am going to go and I'm going to actually make a super shoddy, um, like illegal food cart, and Excellent. I'm going to go around the city and I'm going to like ply my trades. And obviously, people will be sketched out, but I'll start to like build a mythos of like the mysterious food cart vendor and then the cops will always like chase me away and i'll have to like vanish oh yeah no camouflage of course you're you more than welcome to do that <clears throat> and after as i say about three days in you've you've created this mythos and people are like oh did you hear about the legendary secret illegal street vendor and, and when i like, hear that Ooh. i think damn it <laughs> <laughs> and um <laughs> One night, it's not the police that come up to your stall, Jisan. It's a group of very shady looking people. And they look at you and go, uh, sorry, Laura just delivered me some delicious food. <gasps> Love you. Thank you. Um, yeah, the, these very shady looking fellows and ladies come up to you and go, ahem, you have not filled out the correct illegal workings paperwork and they hand you a stack of paperwork. If you would like to illegally run a business, you need to fill out the proper paperwork. I like, I'm looking at the stack of papers and there's a moment when I'm like, I'm staring them down and looking at the papers. And I'm like, like my choice here is to get like gang beat and probably like stabbed and run out of business by like a gang of people. Yeah, one and... of them turns to you as you're worried about getting like beaten down. And one of them's like, we have the forms filled out to beat you up right here, right now. He pulls he out shows his regulation the... <laughs> knife TM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he like, I'll shows you the stack of forms. The, pay, the knife comes out. He's like, see, this knife was stamped by the official illegal knife stamper. 
I'm like, he's probably also got a form for me to fill out after I've been stabbed to confirm. Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> Our organized crime is very organized. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, as much as I would love to beat all these dudes up, because I know I can, um, I could just start swinging this food cart. It would he, be a fantastic high budget martial has, one shot. He shows arts. you the form that if you accidentally die from the stabbing, your ghost has to fill out this form, and he shows oh it to God. you. He's ready. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit down and I'm I'm gonna start muttering under my breath and I'm filling out the forms like as quickly as I can, like just being like a J, but like after a time it's not even a J. I'm just literally like stabbing the the forms the paper. with the pen. Yeah, and just Yeah, he doesn't give you any laughing. surface to write on with it. You you you're yeah. full MIB wanting it. Excellent. And I'd like to think I'm like throwing them up in the air after I'm done with them as well. So I'm just becoming like a storm of forms around me being like, dun, 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 dun. I don't care. Stop <laughs> making me do this. I don't uh, care about literacy. It's not important. <laughs> after about two hours of filling out forms, uh, you see them. They're all like checking it and they go, OK, perfect. Now you just have to sign them in triplicate and we're done here. I, I rip open my shirt and I walk and I'm just like just 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 stab me at this point just just fucking stab me bro like like he what just, do you want he looks at you and he goes oh I don't have the forms for stabbing you after you've filled out the singular forms okay we'll have to come back next night um I I'm so sorry we we thought you'd be one or the other we didn't think it'd be both I I'm so sorry and he starts you can see him start filling out forms as he's walking away. We do take official IOUs for combat. <laughs> I'm just like I'm. I'm holding like one finger up. You know what I mean with a blank expression, like. Uh, and then I put it down, and I'm standing there, and I let them all walk away, and I'm just standing there by my sad little cart in this absolutely quiet part of town, being like, "How much of my time and sanity did that waste? Am I even? I'll, I'll meet you here tomorrow, I guess." And I yep. just start trundling <laughs> off home with like a thousand yard stare. <laughs> oh, excellent. As as he comes home, I I'm get like I, I see this dejected look and I just stare at him with hollow eyes, sipping my tea, just being like, Now do you see why I embraced the chaos of the sea? <laughs> and just sip my tea and walk away. <laughs> I just like nod vacantly and I pull up like some indescribable meat on a stick that's like <laughs> it's calcolage. And I, I just like I hand rook the calcolage and I'm like, it's still mostly good. And then I just walk <laughs> off to bed. I munch. Uh, munch the meat. Have you ever seen a warrior spirit die? <laughs> <laughs> oh. This aside Excellent. accomplished nothing, but I'm so glad you did it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it showed how they do paperwork here. It's great. <laughs> so much. I hate uh, it. Pen literally I is want my out of here as sword. soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with the pen. Uh, you have a form for that euphemism? <laughs> the pen is more time consuming than the sword. Ah, <laughs> uh, excellent. Yeah, no, um they Another like three days or so go by and you fill out another just giant stack of forms and all of a sudden your mom comes home and she's like, honey, 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 honey. And your dad's like, what, dear? And she brings him a letter and it's all the letters here are not like small envelopes. They're like stacks because everything contains at least a dozen forms in triplicate. It's just it's so much paper. And Good your father of huge trees. <laughs> oh, exactly. The paper business in town makes money. Um, you could say they even print it. Uh, it literally doesn't stop growing on trees. <laughs> uh, yeah, your dad opens the form uh, or the paperwork and he goes, <gasps> Baruka, Baruka. I, I didn't think it would happen, but I am officially in the running for uh, 
the notary chairman of the Civil Waste Management Engineers. I just kind of like stare at him blankly for a second. I'm like, oh my gosh, you've been wanting this for so long. I'm so excited. (sighs) Excellent, excellent. Unfortunately, this means that I will no longer be able to help you with your paperwork as I have so much paperwork to do myself to prepare myself for the running of this. And he like goes into a whirlwind of starting a million other sheets of paper and like forms that he's filling out. And he he just yells, I wish you luck, dear. (laughs) I give him a a thumbs up and I'm kind of like, oh, cool this is more important but also i understand you've wanted this for a while okay i i guess i start asking the bees for help with these these forms and then maybe after like an hour of doing that i just decide to go for a walk because i know there's like a place to grab coffee which does remarkably well in this city coffee oh Um, yeah around I, know, like just a couple blocks away so i'm like i'm i'm going for i'm taking scraps for a walk you guys anybody wants to come do you think it'd be oh, less paperwork to, to to get the stealing it paperwork <laughs> you go on ahead i'll uh i'll i'll watch over things here I just kind of stare in a way that says, I do not trust that that will go well, but I do not have the bandwidth to to engage with that. <laughs> okay. You know, like, obvious red flag? I'm not picking that one up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's it's warranted. So, like, <laughs> what Belt wants to try to do is get to the paper, or, like, take the paperwork, yeah. and consolidate it using his experience as the ghost post. Ooh, well done. Uh, Ooh. To be like, all right, we're like consult instead of filling out bureaucrat. Yeah, instead of filling out thirty sheets that all have the same information, we're going to consolidate it all down and just do it in triplicate. Mm. Excellent. I want you to roll me a study, please. Study. Hey, I do have some study. Okay, I was going to try outwit too, but study works. Uh, so study veils, shadow ciphers. Secrecy. Yeah, veils. Veils is the correct term, I think, for this. Okay. And so, study. Uh, can I use my uh, experience with the ghost post? Yeah, I'll give you an a, advantage uh, for that. Excuse me. Mm. For sure. Alrighty. Gotta find the thing that has the dice rolls. There we go. 3d6. 532. 532. Okay. There's perfect. a conflict. Conflict. Um, you are able to deduce that you know half of these forms are unnecessary however you're missing a form there seems to be a cyclical loop in here that like can't be broken if that makes sense like like you fill out form A and that allows you to get form B. And then if you fill out form B, that allows you to get form C. And then by filling out form C, you get back to form A unless you already have a form D. But you can only get a form D by filling out form D2. But you need a form D to get form D2. Excellent. Yeah, so yeah we all know how the government works. He's gonna, so he's going to contact his ghost post office and say, hey... I need a form D2. Excellent. Um, yeah. We, we got to have a copy somewhere. <laughs> going to make a form D2. <laughs> uh, for, you'll, you'll get one in a few days. It'll show up and yeah, you can fill it out and you've, you've solved the, the issue here. You guys will be able to present all these forms and be able to purchase enough hinges to retrofit the entire ship. Yay. Yeah. Belt will, uh, once, <laughs> once Rook gets back from her walk, Belt will be like, yeah, so, uh, I think I got it handled. I just kind of look at the stack of forms and I look at him and I look at the forms and I look at him and I just burst out into tears and hug him. Oh, don't worry. I didn't put any of them out of order. Thank you. <laughs> you have no oh. idea how much I hate paperwork rook if you ever need help with paperwork i am a professional artist i love signing my own name (laughs) (laughs) okay 
I might just set it on fire in the future, but if I can't do that, I'll get you. All of a sudden, you just hear a <laughs> scream from upstairs in the house. Oh, it's, did someone it's, find it's, me in my tub again? No, it's... it's. I said, <laughs> like, what did I just hug? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you hear, Baruka! And it's your mom. Just I, like I, I go yelling. and investigate that. Uh, your mom is sitting. Your mom and dad are sitting with Andy in in the like sitting lounge of your house because your house has a sitting lounge. Of You're fancy like that. We are. We're not. We're not uncivilized. Okay. Yes. Hello. There was a screen. And just. Oh, uh, your mom goes. Oops. Um. Yeah, no, no, we're just sitting here with your friend. I didn't know he was a doctor, dearie. You didn't tell me that in your letters. He's so handsome, too. Well, I mean, we all know that. I, and I you just, just kind of blushes. It's not like, it's <laughs> like, not like I don't put it on display. <laughs> I mean, Yes, also water wet. What is your point? No. And I'm like, I feel like I mentioned he was putting himself through through school with, with the bartending. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess he is a doctor. He did fix that is, He fixed all the us. There, there's a stat. As you say, like, he fixed us. Your mom kind of smiles, and th- you notice there's a stack of paperwork between him and your dad and your mom. And then your mom just kind of like grabs you and pats you on the shoulder, and she's like, "Well, anyways, let's let's let them continue their talk, and we'll go have our talk. It's okay." I kind of yeah, read the over stack the shoulder. Of paperwork is burning a hole in my mind. Like, <laughs> like it's not unusual for there to be stacks of paperwork for a casual sitting lounge gathering but like something about it is not settled in my brain and i'm just like something is not right something is off do you want to try and read it yeah it's gonna be like i was like looking over the shoulder and like what does forever bonded and holy is that a really long word for hug (laughs) yeah yeah no you 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 got it there zitsi it's uh it's it's a really Smells long like hug. Arranged marriage. <laughs> and yeah, as as your mom's like shuffling you down the hallway, your mom just being like, A doctor, dear. Oh sweetie, a doctor. How wonderful. I can't believe it. My little Baruka and a doctor. Work on the same ship together. Yeah, no, it's it's a necessary thing because we get injured a lot. Well, not too. Don't don't please don't worry. But oh like, no no no! I I would never worry with you and a doctor together. That's a doctor, my own daughter. Well, and a uh, doctor. Uh, and a chef and a ghost post and. Oh, they haven't school. filled out the forms yet, honey. But a doctor is filling out the forms. A doctor. For working on my ship? <laughs> does, does that mean that we can all sign this, theoretically? <laughs> <laughs> like, can we just, like, like, jump Ant-Man right in there and s- be like... sneak over a bunch so, of little spiders? <laughs> I, like to, I like to think that, uh... <laughs> I like to think that he's hearing her dad, and her dad is actually put it, doing, like... Her dad is a really good negotiator. <laughs> and he's just stuck in that situation of, like, well, I don't want to say no, because, like, this guy's being really nice, but... <laughs> I mean, although, not gonna lie, there is a part of me that's wondering, like, I know the most formalized, you know, relationship is, you know, a marriage one, but, like, there's also a part of me that feels like this culture definitely has a requisition to ask out your daughter on a first date. Oh, there's a lot of forms a ca- in this a, a, ca- a casual non-date, if it does not go well, could be... You know, you know, like the kind of like when you ask someone out on a date, but it's like so casual that if it doesn't go well, you can say it was just a hangout. Oh, consent Rook- forms are filled out in triplicate in this culture. Well, I think sure. I think Rook's dad said, Hot. oh, we don't need to worry about that one. I'm okay. sure it'll go fine. All Here's I'm going to say one. is that the amount of forms that you have to fill out for going out on a date are so much less if you're already married. Yeah, yeah I exactly. mean, he, he's saving like <laughs> oh, days in paperwork can... alone. Let's think of that way. <laughs> it's a much smaller paper trail. Yeah. Let yeah, alone yeah. the transit of property. Yeah. 
No. Um, yeah. Uh, after your mom's just like, okay, dearie. Well, now that they're filling out those paperwork, you're going to have to start filling out some paperwork in advance as well. And she hands you a stack of like about to be engaged papers. <laughs> being like he's filling out the I'm gonna ask you papers and you gotta fill out that whether you're gonna accept or not papers and I mean he's a doctor dearie okay is she's she, is she still in the room like with friend. me after she hands <laughs> <laughs> no she's just gonna hand you a stack and walk away she's gonna go back to the room with the doctor in it okay <laughs> I stare at the paperwork and I just stare at it for a good solid 45 seconds and I just suddenly I'm like oh my gosh she handed me the wrong forms <laughs> <laughs> and I go out to find the application to be the adopted sister because I assume that's what they must be talking about the way mom keeps going on and on about a doctor because oh like right adoption because you know it would help with the schooling and streamline that totally makes sense business arrangement adoption i mean they already filled out the paperwork to be the adopted grandparents of our kids and loving oh it. yeah oh man they are full we just became grandparenting the, the the kiddos um and and yeah but like me being like well yeah i mean if he's going to to be my new brother i i gotta fill out the form right that's what they're talking about unless unless this is the form to accept as a new patient Finding can my I, medical uh, card. Can I fourth wall our listener right now and just be like, womp, womp. <laughs> because, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> like, this is painful. Where, where are we even going with this? Jisung, get in there and help her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you poor I go in, I, I, I turn everybody and like, I need to go into the, what's, what's the office? Into like, you know, the civil office to grab some forms. This encourages my mother. But I'm going off to fill out the correct forms and then possibly hand them off to Belt. <laughs> <laughs> so Bell is gonna finish. It's gonna get back to Andy, and, and Andy's gonna be like, "This for me." She <laughs> <laughs> marries Bell so, by accident. So wingman. So Andy, Andy takes the forms and looks at the forms that Andy had also handed him, and is like, "Oh, this is gonna be a big old pile up." Don't worry, I'll handle it. Doesn't say a thing. Just <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, Come on, Belt. He, Belt signs the forms to be Andy's brother, and yeah, then well, he does that. And then suddenly, and then he's like, "And I don't have to worry about these." Whoosh, fire, because you know. <laughs> Wait, which 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 one did you set on fire? Fire. Uh, Wait, fire. Andy's forms, because uh, well, just, no, no he throws into his. There, there's he a drops it in his treasure bath. He, put, he puts it in his treasure and bath. Same thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> Are they really going to go digging around the tub looking for it? There's a lot of stuff at the bottom of that tub. <laughs> like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, but which one did like, you set we... on fire? Uh, you know, actually, I do. I do wonder if uh, Belt would actually like be like, all right, we we might need to have a conversation about this one. The like the uh, the 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 com the you know the the comedy routine would be you know oh well you know can't marry your brother so I guess can't do this I saved you but at the same time he's like wait does she is she actually not know <laughs> she actually does uh, not know save yeah. her belt <laughs> save her from herself. I hand I hand him the forms and I and I and I go out to to what you, you know when you go back to to your old neighborhood and like you don't know what to do with yourself so you just start wandering around the places you used to hang out as a teenager. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, doing that, doing that maybe with I don't know whoever else wants to come with me for that. Uh, I think Belt will follow once he sees which paperwork is which. He's like, oh, this is going to be a big nightmare. <laughs> Think of the bureaucrats. <laughs> oh, my God. Untangling that knot. <laughs> like, yeah, they're brother and sister, but not by blood. And we don't want that to be on mainstream again. The redacted forms <laughs> alone. 
<laughs> and Andy's all cool with this. Well, so <clears throat> I think he's still up in the room with my dad and has no idea what all is going on. Or he's just he just feels like it's rude to really cut in and her dad is a good negotiator. Andy's <laughs> pumped. He's been planning this for a while now. Oh, snap. Oh, has Andy been planning on making his move? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, did oh, you not sense that he's into this? Who are who are we so, to get in the way of true love? I I can Absolutely. never tell who's into what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm very oblivious. Uh, hi, it's your boy Jonathan. I'm oblivious. <laughs> oh. You've heard what we talk about. I still don't know if it's okay to talk about what we talk about. Where do I sign to give her away? <laughs> so I, I think I think Belt will follow after Rook. <laughs> Cool. And be like, let's go hey. hang out in the places I used to hang out in as a teenager. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love a tour. Yeah. Show around things like this was the high school. This is the restaurant that teenagers could afford to eat at and feel grown up. This is the place where we hung around and waited for somebody to fill out the requisition forms to boot for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also under the bridge, selling <laughs> selling various meats that are perhaps even worse than last oh, time. Jason, you're like selling it to kids I used to babysit, but now they're like just graduated, and that's weird. Jeez, I'm Jason definitely, yeah, Jason definitely has the correct forms fully filled out in triplicate. On you've the got like those cart. those like you know those health safety approval forms pinned up to the back of your cart. Yeah, like past all certified safety. illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in the distance, you see that guy who is going to knife you, Jison, and he just gives you the thumbs up, smiles, and walks away. Thumbs up back, obviously. <laughs> I, I look at him and I'm like, how do you know Jeremy? <laughs> oh, he just about stabbed me a couple of days ago. Nice guy. I'm going to hand her like a calculage. <laughs> I just look at him and I'm like, yeah, that guy got like all C's in high school. Well, Makes While sense. the dad and Andy are like negotiating, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the correct term. Do I have a dowry? Is it hinges? <laughs> Don't worry, I got <laughs> better. <you. laughs> I got you. Oh my you god! <laughs> no, no, Taco that's Tuesday. happening. Yeah. That's ha uh, okay. Unless you have another thing that you want to do, like I want to no, say, like, no, that's it. That's, that's it. happening. <laughs> yeah. like, like, about hinges? Like, <gasps> so Andy is like the fastest way for us to get hinges is for me to marry Rook. <laughs> the divorce papers is only one sheet, so <laughs> this is, Andy's going for like you know what they make the it one sheet game. because it's so commonly like an accidental. Oh, whoops! I filled out the wrong form, and now we're married. So they made that really streamlined. Yeah, I filled out the wrong 48 forms and became married, so it's really easy to annul. <laughs> well, it's just like they know that that's a really difficult thing to do, you know, to get divorced. They don't want, they're not monsters. They don't want to bog you down with paperwork <laughs> while you're going through a separation. Exactly. You get it. They're bureaucrats, not monsters. Oh, this place is evil. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so while they're up there like negotiating, I'm gonna bring up a spot of like the ship's special brew to represent, you know, what what the what they might be getting into. I mean, I mean, I mean, earning from from joining these two families. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I'm yep. gonna spike it with the whispers, largely drunk, to add some fun little addendums oh, no. to this contract. Oh. What uh? What addendums are you adding to this contract? Ooh, I don't know. Enlighten me. S some extra parts for the mech, perhaps, to make it shiny. Some extra freedoms that wouldn't normally be afforded to a contract such as this for Rook, perhaps. Yeah, like, sure, they may be married, but not in the traditional sense. Not after I'm done with this. <laughs> what does that mean? Does, wait, wait. Does Rook own Andy now? <laughs> Is Andy Rook's plaything? <laughs> well, yeah, it's a matriarchal society. Who didn't want the Dr. Kendall? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm... Whoa, okay. Whoa. <laughs> who said he's built like a Kendall? <laughs> yeah, oh, he's... Yeah, he's got a cloaca. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm gonna marry him, please not a Kendall. <laughs> Come on. He's a doctor, he'll figure it out. <laughs> 
Honestly, I was about to say she's an engineer. She'll figure it out. <laughs> she already has, guys. Uh, it's oh perfect. Oh, my God. And it's actually really great how, how perfect this is. And then, yeah, also I'm going to put the chrome iguana in there to calm it down so they don't realize what's being changed. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, okay. In, into the contract. Okay. Yeah. No, like, yeah, just into the room. Just, like, slowly introduce the chrome iguanas. No, you know, you know, we were just talking about, and you say introducing the chrome iguana to calm things down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm making, it sh- making sure the whole room is the quenchiest. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, you, you fully fiddle with that contract. And um, yeah, it's it's less of a marriage contract and more of a like plaything contract, but also kind of married. Uh, Am I yeah. a sugar mommy now? Not no, but also mm-hmm. he makes the money and gives you the money. OK, I <laughs> what is this. money? You're basic. You're getting all the benefits and losing none of the whoa, privileges. Whoa, whoa. Is, this, is this marriage bringing capitalism in our world? I'm against it. Oh, oh I'm sorry, buddy. It's, it's already sorry. abomination. I'm sorry. I fixed um, it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Um, is anyone going to tell Rook what's about yes. to happen? Oh, we are still uh, under a bridge down by the river. Yeah. Excellent. So. So yeah. like. B- Belt will have the talk with Rook, kind of. Like, hey, so, uh, so how do you feel about Andy? He's a cool guy, you know. He, he's he's nice, and he fixes us, and he makes a stiff drink. And I mean, like, yeah, I, I I'm glad he joined the ship. Yeah, me too. Hey, so your dad's filling out marriage forms for with him, and uh, My that's dad's gonna marry him. He's already married to mom. No. <laughs> No. I mean, the polyamory sheets alone are just, I mean, like, it's why a lot of people aren't, but, you know, like, some people are very committed to fill out the forms, and, you know, we, we try to be accepting them, you know. All of her ancestors honey. just face palming at the same time. For one thing, that's good to know. Also, no. Uh, no, he's, he, your dad wants you to marry him. Why does Dad want me to marry him? We work together. Well, as you, as I kept hearing your mom say, he's a, he's a doctor, honey. (laughs) I, she kept saying that. I don't know if that's like a family term. Is that, is that a family term? I don't. I anyway, don't worry about it. (laughs) I'm like now trying to figure out like, oh, is this to fill out the, you know, I married or I'm in family with a doctor therefore i get extra medical benefits you know like to streamline that process i'm like trying to figure out if that's what what's going on here (laughs) yes that is one of the forms but also you'll be married (laughs) i just i just i just stare at him blankly like i i don't why Uh, don't worry i'll field this one i walk up in front of in front of rook (laughs) and i take i take the meat on a stick and I take my finger and I poke it down the hole at the end of the stick, suggestively, a few times. And I said, you and Andy, that's what your dad's trying to get to happen right now. If you don't go stop him or maybe agree with him. But, uh, you know, like you should at least know what's going on. But also you're dumb. Please stop. <laughs> I just said, he wants us to cook together. I hit her in the head with the meat. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I just, I don't, like, but, okay, okay, no, okay. No okay. dumb. I'm an engineer. No I can figure this out. I can figure this out. I just, I just you stare at the ground. For me. Mm, what? Contra- you are being contractually signed in to a marriage with Andy as we speak. You are failing to have any agency in this process whatsoever. Well, no, I have to fill out the forms that I gave to, what did you do with those forms? Oh, no, I... I didn't fill out those forms. I came to walk with you first. <laughs> okay. I still yeah, don't I... get why this is happening, though. Because he's a doctor. Yeah, he's a doctor. That's, okay, that's yeah, what no, they both no, no. I, I, get, I get why my parents like this because you know the doctor thing. But like, why is 
Andy, all, I mean, it's not like there's any kind of like coercion in any of this. If, if, you, if you anything, gonna, the, incentivi- in, in, the incentivization to not fill out more forms is the reason why a lot of people don't get married here. Rook, Rook, you suddenly get a flashback, like, you know, one of those mental flashbacks, like personal flashbacks. And the whole the whole group can see it. It's that big of a flashback. <laughs> of so Rook's, oh, Rook's oh my god! Anime flashback. Gets it. So it's, yeah. it. it's a it's like a visual whisper. This is it's this a, is yeah, like it's a, a visual this is whisper. Naruto childhood motivation yeah. level. Yeah. yeah, flashback. Yeah, yeah, and it's a flashback of like thousands upon thousands of hours over the last like year. Maybe you and Andy have been together of like all the nice moments and all the cutesy things he's done for you and like him just trying his hardest to get your attention at every possible turn. Like I'm imagining like, Hey, could you put some oil on me? Hey, could you oil my back? (laughs) Hey, could you (laughs) just all the time? A lot of them are oil based (laughs) interactions. I mean, I mean, no, no. It's up. It's up to you if Rook was just too busy, or she did do the oiling, or (laughs) like, oh, I put too much oil on. Do you want some excess for your salad? You can eat it off me. I, 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 the part of the flashbacks is me like going up to me like, hey, I made you a stick so you could get your own back. It's got a nice cloth and sponge on the back because you keep asking for help with that, and and I thought this would be nice. Yeah, but I really prefer it when you do it. It's okay. I put one of my gloves on the end. <laughs> he puts it in his shrine. I will cherish it forever. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I I look through all of these like memory Throws things. Throws it off the I, deck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go through all these memory things, and I'm like, you see, like like the slow like like there's an epiphany coming, kind of a moment, and then just like right at the moment of epiphany. Nope, I don't get it. You're going to have to explain it to me. <laughs> I comically hit her in the head with the meat again. That actually helps and does it. And I go... But... What? And she gets it. Our work here is what? done. What? I mean, your but work is done. I still have to fill out all the paperwork. Finger guns. <laughs> Finger guns back. <laughs> but I don't understand. I mean, I, I I get what happened, but but why? I mean, I'm just like the engineer. The legal card of mystery away. <laughs> <laughs> Is that with us, or are you just running away? No, I'm. I'm just. I'm just. You're asking. You're starting to ask the deep philosophical questions to which I neither have answers nor do I have the. Uh, <laughs> like, I I have questionable animal meat on a stick to sell. Like, you know, <laughs> I have a life to live here. I can't just be sitting <laughs> thinking about you. You know, dealing with your Andy problem. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Time to go sell rats to nice people. <laughs> I just kind of well, glare at you as you run away. Who doesn't like a good I, rat burger? I, I now look at Felt, my only option for clarity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he just likes you. I don't care. Sometimes that's all there is. Sometimes that's all there is to it. Maybe don't overthink why he likes you, and instead, you know, focus on the fact that he's willing to sit down with your father and dive through all of this paperwork. I mean, he he has filled most of it out himself. As you say this, all you hear from upstairs is bang and like the We're like a see, block away and we can hear that. Do you hear that? You like look back to your house and you can see Andy like pop out shirtless on the top window and just yell. He's like, I love Veruca. <laughs> And then he, he pulls out a form. He's like, don't worry. I have the form that says I can yell my love. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody file a noise complaint. <laughs> you know, it's really convenient that you just normalize yelling that so that nobody has to ask. <laughs> <laughs> 
In that moment where you told me not to overthink it, I was fully like crouched on my heels, arms crossed in front of me, like gnawing off one of my knuckles, and I just stare at you like, <laughs> not overthink it. <laughs> and I and I I guess I guess I just have to like I I realize I'm faced with the option of go walk around pondering on my own for a while, or go confront and have a conversation with Auntie. <laughs> so I just kind of look to Scraps and I'm like, what do I do, buddy? Scraps has like already filled out the paperwork saying that he likes Andy. <laughs> <laughs> it just says Andy is good boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a little dog monkey print on it. <laughs> We remember all the time, all the good time, or all of the times that you told uh, Scraps, like, who's a good boy? And Scraps just looked longingly at Andy. <laughs> I thought you were in love with him. <laughs> we live in a strange world. <laughs> I, I, I guess I, I guess I, I slowly walk home. To find um, whatever I find. Sad Hulk music. <laughs> Bill will either walk with you or give you some time to, you know, mull it over. Now that the questions have stopped. <laughs> oh, just different questions. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Um, don't, don't overthink it. Leaves Brooke to overthink it. <laughs> and I think on that note, we'll end the session here. What? And next, next episode will be a wedding or no wedding. You'll have to find out. Cliffhanger. Oh, oh my god, this entire episode has been an answer to the question, what is soap? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're welcome. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Uh, I'm glad I could do that for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. I was Ian the Firefly. I was Austin the Bookie. <laughs> Work the betrothed. <laughs> Jison, the cart man. <laughs> the wheels. Belt, the, I'm Belt, the actual human player. I'm Jonathan. Excellent. And we are sponsored by Nobody, signing off. <laughs>